Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to this video. Today we're creating this gorgeous kimono dress set. For this project I used 3 meters of chiffon fabric and 2 meters of jersey. So I've already laid out my fabric. I will demonstrate how I did this using this piece of paper. Begin by folding the fabric in half with ways. Then fold the fabric again in half. Once this is done, you can mark the required measurements, which is the neck width and the front opening of the kimono, as shown here. Once I'd connected the two points, I cut this part of the fabric out. Once you've done this, when you open the kimono, you get the finished pattern. At this point, we would mark the armhole measurements and pin the sides. The exact measurements will be provided during the following steps. So here I've got my fabric folded as previously shown. I'm measuring the length of my kimono. Mine was 59 inches and cut this out. Next, measure three and a half inches for the neck width and mark. Then from this point, measure down 25 inches towards the folded edge, um, approximately two inches away from the edge and mark. Join these two points together. Cut along the neckline. Be sure to cut along the two layers only. Cut all the way to the bottom of the kimono. Once you're done, you can open to reveal the kimono pattern. You can see here the front opening. Next, measure 10 inches down the top of the kimono for the armhole. Then pin from this point down to the bottom of the kimono. Repeat this process for the other armhole. For the belt, cut a six inch wide by sixty inch long strip. Fold in half, right sides together, and then pin. You can trim any excess material. Now for the slip dress, fold your fabric into four, Place a loose fitting top as your pattern. Mm -hmm. 
measure your hip measurement and mark this on the pattern for accuracy. Then measure your desired length for the dress. Mine was 56 inches. You can cut out your dress, leaving enough for seam allowance. Once you've done this, you can open the dress. On the inside pattern, you can extend the neckline down by two inches and cut. You can also cut into the armhole slightly by about 0.5 inches. This will be your front pattern piece. Now carefully open and pin the shoulders and sides. You can now begin the stitching. You can start by stitching the shoulders. Once you've done this, you can open the armhole slightly and hem the both armholes. This is how they should look. Next, you can stitch the sides of the dress. Complete the dress, fold and pin to hem the neckline. This is how it should look once done and you can now stitch in position. Now to stitch the kimono, begin by hemming the front opening of the kimono. This took me a little while. You can now stitch the sides of the kimono from the armhole measurement. Once you've done this, you can hem the armhole opening to just below the 10 inch mark. This is how it should look. Finally, hem the bottom of the kimono to complete it. For the belt, stitch the sides, leaving one end open. Turn the belt inside out.
stitch the end opening to complete the set. And here's the final look. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.